My name is Jörg Sprave, and all my life I've been obsessed with inventing and building slingshots and wild yeah. backyard launchers. Fire! <laughs> and I'm Cheyenne Ruther. I spend most of my time working with metal and motor cars to create some unique builds of my own. For over 10 years, I've been firing my weird and wonderful machines for my online fans and have built up millions of loyal followers. Wow! For the first time ever, Jorg is taking fan requests to decide what to build next. And I'm coming along for the ride. Welcome to the crazy world of Backyard Ballistics. <laughs> the cannon was first used in 12th century China. Packed with gunpowder, cannons could hurl stone or steel balls huge distances causing incredible damage to their targets. Can we create a cannon capable of causing the same level of carnage over at least 100 meters using rubber bands instead of gunpowder? Have it. Looking good. <laughs> that should work. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I figured before we go full carnage with this cannon, that we would do a true distance test. So basically, I have markers set out on this lake every 25 meters all the way down to the end. Okay. So do you want to test this and see how far we really can shoot it? Sure. All right. Let's find out. So what is your prediction? How far do you think it'll go? 160 meters is my prediction. 160. Uh-huh. All right. What do you think? 145. 145, okay. All right. Okay. Woo. Just a little Last more. Last crank. Maybe you can do one more. Yeah, yeah, okay. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Okay. How low do you want it? As low as possible. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that good? Okay. Ready? Fire. Whoa. It's coming very straight. Wow! Whoa. That was quite a shot. <laughs> that was about 200 meters, I think. Yeah. That actually meters. exceeded both of our expectations. I think the cannon has uh, a perfect distance. I mean, throwing a steel ball that heavy 200 meters far, that's quite often quite an achievement. Uh, even with the muzzle loading uh, black powder cannon, you could not shoot it much more far. It is certainly one of the most powerful muscle-operated weapons that I've ever seen. That was the test of distance. So now we're going to dial in accuracy and pure carnage. All right, that sounds good. All hey. right, Jörg, we are here. This is the final test for the cannon of carnage. All right. Do you see that boat behind us? Yes. Can I shoot at it? Yeah, you can shoot at it. Ah, Do you okay. want to know the fun part of this? There's more? There is more. So it's gonna be the ultimate test of accuracy and being able to create as much carnage as humanly possible. Okay. That is gonna be your target. Whoa. And kind of like the olden days, they'll fill the boats often with gunpowder or whatever supplies they have on hand. And it will go off if I hit it? Basically, there'll be a big boom. Right. Treat that as your bullseye. Super, That's let's get it reward. done. <laughs> Targets that blow up are the best. Uh, first of all, because it really itches you to hit it. <laughs> it's like a magnet. <laughs> so uh, on, on the other hand, um, you never know how it will explode. That is the big surprise. All right. You know what? I think you're going to hit it in one shot. You really think so? Oh, for sure. Uh, I'm fairly pessimistic about that. I have faith, Jörg. 
Full faith in you. At least that is a good thing. Yeah. Getting a little harder. <laughs> yeah. As always. I promise it'll be worth the workout. All right. All right. You want to take aim? Okay. I have to get you your earmuffs here. Got it? Okay. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs>